Hey guys, welcome back to the channel. This is Ray. Check it out, guys. Got another product. I have the Black Beetle Screen Protector for the GoPro 9. Guys, we're going to get right into it. I ended up picking up a GoPro recently. I've been using it, and I realized that I need a screen protector on this, on this thing. All right? Sometimes I put it down on the ground, and I don't want to unnecessarily scratch the back of my monitor or the front of my monitor unnecessarily. So, best thing we can do is put a screen protector. So, again, I went to my favorite store, Amazon, found one that I... Had some good reviews to it and decided to take it take a shot at it guys welcome to the channel i'm about diy how to home improvement backyard stuff front yard stuff truck stuff whatever i'm into i'm sharing that information with you guys like my son says sharing is caring and i believe knowledge is power and as more we share as a community the better we can we can be as a community so again guys enough of me talking please like subscribe and by the way this will be listed down below in the description Please consider using that link. It is affiliate. It does support the channel, and I greatly appreciate it. Guys, let's just get into it. Enough of mint talking, and let's go. All right, guys. How you doing? How you doing now? So, again, this is the Black Beetle screen protector. It comes in this little box here, and what we're going to do, which is going to pretty much open it up and see exactly what they give you all right and i just like doing these type of videos guys i feel you guys just like me we browse on on amazon and we see these items and the pictures looks you know pretty good but sometimes pictures can be deceiving so by doing a video and let you guys see exactly what it is it kind of puts that uh additional information that we need to make the decision if we decide to pick this up so it comes in this nice case here. Well, it's a plastic case, but organized. So definitely easy to throw in your camera bag. The first thing they give you here on top is a, a cover to protect the, the screen, which I like because GoPro itself does not give you a cover to protect your screen. And I, I don't understand why they don't. But in this case, you do get one, which I'm gonna throw on here right now. And to see, it's there, it's not coming off. Tighten this up a bit here. It's not coming off. So, unless you take it off. So, I like that. Just just on that part alone. You know what would be nice if they had a, like, a little string that you can just tie it here. So, when you take it off, it just hangs. That would have been nice. Maybe you could hack it. Do something like that. Alright. They give you screen wipes. And they give you a bunch of, called a guide sticker. So, I believe you use this to help put on your screen protector and within these little packets are the different sizes or screen protectors uh, for your lenses let me see if I can open this up just to let you guys see there you go yep. that's all a little tempered glass again just a little something to put all over this so you don't end up scratching your your screen unnecessarily so Guys, this is a quick video. I just want to show it to you. It is uh, nice and thick, but not too thick. So this is definitely going to work out well. Okay, guys. I'm just going to quickly install this. What we're going to do now, the first thing is to, to make sure you clean, of course, the glass. Very important. You don't want any scratches, any smudges. Wipe here. And what I'm going to do, I'm not going to use the ones they get, gave me. All right. I have the Zeiss lens cleaners. I like using this one instead they're very very good just make sure you get all the fingerprints off nothing on this thing whatsoever okay so I get that I'm gonna take one of our cases here now on the tab I don't know if you can see this but there's a tab that says step one. I hope you can see that. Step one, remove film mask attached to this tab. So there's, there's a, like a top plate of that's covering this. So in doing that, I believe that is the one that's going to go over the front here. All right, once you get this all cleaned up, it's very important to make sure you get all the dust off. I said earlier, you have this little film here, tab, that you're going to peel off. Now, that once you peel that off, that's going to go onto your case here. 
Now, I've been reading some of the reviews that this thing is very sticky. So, yes. So, that's why you're going to use these little tabs here to help you guide it in. And by doing that, all you're going to do is just put it on top of your lens as so. Okay. Something like that. All right. Because what you're going to do, you're going to use this as a guide, again, to slowly put it in the area that you want it. Now, I'm just practicing right now. Something like that. So, before you take it off, I suggest try to get a feel for it on how you're going to place it down before you take the sticker off. All right? Because, again, it's very, it's very tacky and it doesn't give you a lot of play. So figure out how you're going to attack it before you put this down. And I'm just trying to, I might just use this edge like that. And then I'll slowly bring it down on the other edge. Again, sometimes you can just see how I'm leaving that st sticker there and just lining that edge up. And then I'll just simply try to follow it across. Something like that, guys. All right, it's, um, I'm practicing several times before I actually commence to do this. Because I really want to see how much play I have something like that all right hope that makes sense so definitely use your guide stickers before you actually take the sticker off so I think I'm comfortable with it now and again if you mess up they do give you two I prefer to do it right the first time so I have that extra one so if my screen ever does get damaged or if this top one get damaged I have an extra one so now what we're gonna do we're just gonna peel this off so once you take this other part off now it's gonna not gonna it's not gonna be sterile anymore you're gonna it's gonna be open to the elements so you don't want it open too much and again check your your screen make sure you have no dust that fell on top of it which I'm gonna check right now yeah it's still clean okay also guys I have a, like a little air so you can just all right so now what I'm gonna do I'm just gonna peel this off again you don't want to touch the glass once you peel this off and now we're gonna put this on That was a better fit. Looks good. Guys, it looks really good. All right. I don't know if the camera can really pick that up. There you go. So this is definitely a good look to help protect that screen. It really does. All right. And what I'm going to do, I'm going to turn it on real quick. See if I can demonstrate the responsiveness on it. So let's... There you go. Very good. All right, guys. So that's the back screen. So let me just uh, get the front screen done. So I'm going to lay this down right there. Let me shut this back off. So definitely use your, your sticker guides. Very important to help you get this lined up properly. All right, especially if you got stubby fingers, <laughs> you definitely want to use that. And make sure, guys, I recommend have a good light source so you can adjust as you go back and forth. You can really see all the the whole screen to make sure there's no dust was left behind. Let's get the smaller one. I'm gonna do the same thing. Use these little sticker guides to help line this up. All right, that's the bottom. So the sticker is going to go opposite of that. Okay, as such. And again, I suggest practice a couple of times before you actually do it. Get an idea which, which, how you should approach it. Yeah, this one should be a little easier. Actually, I'm going to turn it this way toward me. And I find it easier, in my opinion, take the sticker, stick it on the body itself close to the edge. And once you get that one side lined up, then you can use the other side to, to slowly guide it in. And that's pretty much how, like, like so. Again, practice a couple of times before you actually do it. And then once you're comfortable, then take the, the plastic off.
comes up for later on. You have it down, just a little bit of pressure, take the tape off. Okay, so those stickers, you can save them um, too, because of the thing they gave you, just put it right back on. And once it's on, just uh, give a little pressure to, to apply it, and that's it. And there it is, guys. All right, take your time, use the little guide stickers, and that's it. That looks good. That looks very good. Very, very good. All right. If you feel like you got a little bit of air bubble toward the edge, just press on it and it will come out. And that's it, guys. Got it done. All right. Hope you can see that. Now it's protected. Just want to show you the technique I used to, to apply it. I hope that was helpful. Guys, please like, subscribe. And again, if you consider picking up this protector, please use that affiliate link below. It does support the channel. I greatly appreciate it. All right. Pop that on there and I'm ready to go. Guys, check out the next one.